Bonjour! Welcome to another episode of Cuisine de Michel. I'm Michel, and so today I'm going to be trying another recipe that I have never tried before, but it is from a site that I've used before. It's from cookiesandcups.com, and these are going to be Italian ricotta cookies. And I've never even had this type of cookie before, but I had some ricotta that uh, got sent to me uh, as a bonus on an order or something like that. I'll just put it that way. But anyway, I have some extra ricotta to use up and thought, you know, I've heard of these. I'll try these. Let's see how they are. So here in the mixer, I'm starting off with a cup of unsalted butter. And that's, of course, softened to room temperature. And then there's one and three-fourths cup of sugar. And then we are going to be beating these together until they get light and fluffy. Okay, so now that I've gotten this nice and light and fluffy, I believe, we're going to be adding in additional ingredients. We have two large eggs. Now, the recipe calls for 15 ounces of ricotta. This is 16. I'm not going to put the full thing. I'm just going to leave like a little dollop out of it. It's probably about an ounce left in there. All right, and then we need two teaspoons of vanilla extract. One half teaspoon of kosher salt. One teaspoon of baking soda. and one teaspoon of baking powder. So we are now going to mix all of this together. Okay, so now that we have the additional ingredients mixed in, the last thing we're gonna put in is 480 grams of flour, that is, four cups, this is all-purpose flour. Now I'm not gonna put all of it in at once. Just put in as much as you want. It doesn't really actually have an instruction to do it this way. I just don't like to make a big mess when I turn on my mixer. <laughs> but it just says to mix this together until the dough forms. Still made a mess. <laughs> So now we're going to scoop this out. You can see I already started. This is a, I guess this is a medium size cookie scoop. So you're gonna scoop these out onto here, space them about two inches apart. We are saying that this looks like I'm scooping ice cream onto here. <laughs> and my, my uh, cameraman, my son, has confirmed that this dough tastes like uh, sugar cookie dough in a way. So we are looking forward to how these cookies are going to taste. Uh, meanwhile, you want to get your oven heated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And then these cookies are going to bake for 8 to 10 minutes. Uh, it says the edges are going to get lightly golden. After we get those out of the oven and they get cooled off, we're going to be making a light glaze that goes over the top of them. Okay, so now the cookies are all finished baking and it's time to make the icing. I will tell you that a couple of my cookies didn't quite turn out. I had to go 11 minutes to get these to be what I thought was sufficiently done. See, they got golden brown, but they never really got super golden brown at the edges, so it was kind of hard to tell, but they have that nice kind of cake uh, weight to them. They're not, they're kind of light and pillowy is the way I would describe them. But a few of them towards the end, I think the batter 
um, towards the end, like sometimes happens, it didn't get done. So I have a few over here that they're a little bit flat. That's why. <laughs> so those are my end batch ones uh, from scraping the bowl, that kind of thing. Anyway, we're going to make the icing now or glaze, whichever one you want to call it. Here in the bowl, I have one and a half cups of powdered sugar that I sifted because when you make an icing, I think it's it's easier to get it to come together whenever you have it already sifted. It did not say to do that in the original recipe. To that, I'm going to add a half teaspoon of almond extract. You could probably use vanilla if you do not prefer the taste of almond extract. Some people don't. It says three to four tablespoons of milk. I'm going to start with three and see what we get. Let's see what kind of consistency that brings for us. That's looking pretty good, actually. I don't think I'm gonna add any more. So I think it'll make a nice coating. Now it says you can either choose to dip these in here, or you can just like kind of drizzle it over. I'm gonna go for the dipping method because that's easier and a little less messy anyway. It's not gonna be entirely unmessy, <laughs> but. I've got some sprinkles here. You don't have to put sprinkles, it's just for fun. So I'm just gonna put a few of those each time. So I'm gonna dip them in here, just like so. Kinda shake off my excess there, put it down. And then just a couple happy little sprinkles. <laughs> Voila! So we'll continue with that for all of them, and then we will see you at final plating. Okay, so I'm gonna consider this final plating. They're not on plates, but I wanted to show you what these look like once they're done. They're not fully, fully dry, but this one, like this is one of the first ones they did. You see that once they dry, they the glaze kind of disappears into it. It's like a glazed donut effect. So if you were wanting these for presentation, I don't know that I would go that route, or maybe I'd go with a different glaze. They taste great. They are very delicious cookies, so don't uh, hesitate on that end. But for presentation, uh, well, also my nonpareil are kind of uh, the color in them <laughs> decided to run into the glaze too. So again, uh, just be warned of what could happen. Uh, not all of them ran, you know, uh, but anyway. I hope that you have enjoyed this episode of Cuisine Michelle. Thank you for joining me once again. And please be sure to like, share, subscribe. Most importantly, please subscribe and leave a comment if you make these or whatever. And we'll see you next time. Au revoir.